Hi guys, how are you today? I hope it's a good day for you. I've finished this wall hanging and I thought I'd show it to you. I'll try and put a picture on the, of the whole thing, but this is what it looks like. Um, I might, might put some more stuff here. I don't know. We'll see. But today I wanted to kind of talk to you about um, the hard time for all of us and um I don't know if you guys get in the winter time especially where there's just not much going on and it doesn't feel good to get outside and I get this during the hot summer too so I thought I'd talk to you about a little bit about you know the question is it depression or is it just we all need a time for quiet solitude? While I do that, I thought I'd um, show you the contents of this box and I haven't been through it and I want to find some embroidery stuff to maybe work on this a little bit. See what happens. My um, thoughts are always scattered these days. I have, I hope the Packaging isn't too loud. So, this is a. I, I go to the thrift store a lot. I literally like going to the thrift stores and I get these. I got this package of embroidery stuff. This is a fabric that my mom sent to me a long time ago. That, um, her little quilt labels. She thought. That she thought I'd really like that, like the hummingbirds, and the butterflies, the bright colors. So I have that. And, um, wow, looks like a doll leg. I haven't been in this box for years. Some beads. Well, it's, a, it's fun to go back and see what I might have been working on. I haven't made a doll in a long time. Maybe I'll consider doing that, but these feet are funky looking, so I'll probably throw that away. So, um, yeah, I've been going through a lot of just, I'm, I get so down on myself because I don't get things done. And, um, I don't know, it's just, I like to be busy. I like to produce things. And um, I just don't have any energy. I don't talk to people. My daughter and my husband are around. I talk to my son and they'll talk to me and I listen best I can. Just so draining to have a conversation. It's like my brain says, no, I don't think so. We're not going to think today. <laughs> so in the comments, let me know if, I, if you get those times when you just, I don't know, mentally exhausted, I guess. I don't know whether that comes from I wouldn't call it depression because I'm not depressed and I'm I have energy I what energy I have I want to use it to get things done and I have plans and I'm excited about things but I just don't have the energy so you know I do what I can but it gets frustrating I'm wondering how many of you guys go through that, whether there's a good color for this. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's mental exhaustion or just depression. I've taken antidepressants before and they kind of did, didn't work for me. They, you know, it wasn't. I 
So what do you guys do when you're just feeling blah? <laughs> Don't want to get stuff done, but can't seem to find the energy. Anyway, if I if all I can do in a day is to get out of bed, then I'm gonna get out of bed. And I know that for me, if I stay in bed too much, my pain gets a lot worse. So I try not to stay in bed too much. There are days when I just I um, get up and think about the day and then just go back to bed. That happens maybe once or twice a month for me. I don't know if I shared with you guys that I um, work out in a shed lately. <laughs> That's where my, my studio is. And I really like it out here. It's quiet. It's you know, I don't look around the house and feel guilty for not doing household chores. I don't know how organized I want to get this bag because it's just stuff. <laughs> and I don't think I really need to organize it that much. So I'm just going to put this in here. So this is a sampler that my mom was in my mom's boxes when they sent me stuff. I don't think that she did these. I think that she was helping someone learn one time. And that's what that was. But she saved it, so I will too. It's pretty. And these are some hankies. I don't know where the hankies came from, but kind of get a feeling my sister sent me these. Oh, wait. Either my cousin or my sister sent me these thinking I could use them for quilts. They're pretty. Some of them are stained. It's crochet. Oh, I'll just kind of leaf through, through these. Don't, I don't want this one on the outside. It's got a stain there, but this part here is good. Could use it on a crazy quilt or there's special quilt there's quilts for that are just hankies. I don't know what I'll do with them. I like I like looking through them. This is tatted. Maybe my grandmother did that. I don't know. It's really fine. If I can bring that closer, if it'll if you can see it. It work better. Really good workmanship. I use a needle in my tatting because I just um my fingers won't do that. I have trouble knitting too because my fingers don't want to cooperate. They get stiff and just don't want to work a lot of times. It's really pretty. Hope this is coming out okay. Get centered a little bit. Do some more tatting, different colors. My grandmother tatted, and I think one of my aunts tatted, but my mother never learned. I like that. Scarves are more important, more, um, what do you call, words. Scarves are more popular now than they were for a while. And scarves are always beautiful and feel special when you wear one. I don't wear one much. I don't like fussy stuff. I like to look at fussy stuff and own fussy stuff, but I don't like to wear it. These are some of the tatted bracelets that I was making. This one's too big. <laughs> it's huge. I'm just trying it out. These are probably the first ones I did. One's too little. 
And this one does probably work. It's kind of short though. I should have written down how long they have to be. But I guess I could figure that out again. Wouldn't be too much trouble. Learning to tat was one of the things in my life that I learned that was just something that purely I was interested in. I'm going to leave this one out because I like those beads and that thread. It's just something that I wanted to learn. It wasn't anything that anybody else was doing. This is a, um, it's a crochet rope. I haven't figured out what to do with that yet. I, I used to light a thread, so I would have to get in there to make it stronger if I tried to make a necklace out of it to put bindings on the end. So, so I haven't done anything with it. This is more embroidery floss, different colors for um, bracelets. And this is a working on a crazy quilt. Well, I'm not really good at embroidery. It's just something that I think my mom taught me when I was young. And I haven't really... It's not my favorite thing to do. But I do want to make a crazy quilt. I want a crazy quilt for myself. So that's that box. So. I hope I didn't ramble too much. I'm sure I did not get my point across about the um, depression, anxiety. So I'd like your thoughts on that. You know, whether you get depressed or whether you think it's just that our bodies get tired and what are you going to do when you're tired? And, um, for me, I tend to think depression is something different than just the tiredness of fibro. Depression seems like it would be more of a sadness than it would be sad. And I'm not really sad. I just am tired. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to. find the energy to get things done and I get sad and frustrated so part of it maybe but it's not like on the days I stay in bed it's not that I'm staying in bed because I'm sad I'm staying in bed because I ran out of juice ran out of spoons <laughs> so I hope yeah I don't I don't think I want to work on this today Maybe I'll just leave this set up like this and I'll work on this tomorrow. Add some beading and some... Because this... This um, doesn't show up as much as I had hoped it would show up. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys are well. I'll try and put an ending in after I finish this. Or just add it. Now, it's so confusing. I'm not, I don't talk a lot. Words are not my choice of means of communication. Yeah, I hope you're all well. I hope you're getting out and doing a few things and, and keeping yourselves as healthy as you can. I know I kind of. <laughs> Drop the ball on the exercise thing. And, um, need to get back to that. Maybe, maybe I will. I tried really hard for three months. I was out walking every day and keeping busy in the garden. And then winter came and I just lost my gusto. So, Take care. Toodles.